I mean, Nata is in the wrong series, I believe, because his creep-like moments reminded me of prison school when they were trying to peep on the girls at that time. Back like we never left BDA, and this chapter is kind of a transition chapter. We're transitioning into training. Yes, they're upgrading their quirks, and it's time for everybody to get a power-up. At the end, we show Bakugo throwing uh, a rock, and essentially it was a 704, I believe, before, and now he got to a 709. So it was a great thing because they improved technically and as far as experience, but they didn't upgrade their quirks. They didn't get that much stronger. So I equated to doing anything else. Like, say you're playing a lot of basketball, right? You're going to get better as far as if you're just playing, you're getting experience and things like that. But unless you train and practice on specific things, you're not going to upgrade in the way or improve in the way you really want to. So that was interesting. The whole Maneta thing though, is like he is a perv to the umpteenth degree. No matter what, he wants to see titties. And honestly, I cannot be mad at him for that. A lot of the chapter though was around Kota, this kid that we were introduced to who's cousins of those new girls that we saw last chapter. I forget their names, they're heroes as well. A great quote was mentioned, it says, it's human nature to have many differing opinions. And this couldn't be more relevant as to what's going on right now in the community as far as different opinions. It makes sense because he's saying that there's a lot of people that don't really like heroes because Midoriya had to save him because he fell down and he passed out from the fear of just falling. So it was interesting how seeing this kid because his parents died while being heroes and it's kind of weird because I thought about it if my parents died, you know, if they're heroes and they died while saving someone or whatever. I don't know if I'd hate heroes, I think I want to be one to revenge them, you okay? So, or avenge them rather. So I guess in that case it was a bit different but Again, to the point, it's human nature to have many differing opinions. So that just says, if someone has a different opinion than you, that's normal. Like we should not get upset or get aggravated because someone does not agree with your opinion or someone doesn't see things the same way. That's the beauty of being human at the end of the day. We should embrace that. If someone agrees with you on everything, that's when you should, you know, kind of feel weird about it because no one should agree on everything. That's, it's human nature to be different, dare to stand out, dare, dare to be different. Upgrade time, like I mentioned before, and I'm really interested to see the different things that Aizawa is going to put in place for them to improve their quirks. I'm, I'm, I'm really ready for this. Another scene was when they were eating the food. It reminded me of Shukugeki no Soma, how they kind of went in depth with food and every, how everything tasted. I was like, yo, I'm out. What am I reading right now? It looks similar. Good chapter though, man. We had the Kota stuff, we had the Midoriya, the upgrade stuff, and we had Mineta creep life. Of course, Mineta, that's my guy though, man. He gotta, he's chasing after the titties and I'm not mad at that dude for it at all. Let me know what you thought about the chapter, guys. Do you think that this training they're about to go through is gonna get them on a level where they can possibly compete with Shigaraki? Because right now, None of them should be messing with Shigaraki. Maybe Midoriya, after he tries to go, go past his limit, then he can probably keep up, but right now, I don't see. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the chapter. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That'd be dope. Have a good day, people.